Hi, thanks for using my Court Coach. I'm Sarah and I'll be your instructor today as we go over the different types of discovery that you can use. Um, the first one is a request for production of documents. Uh, this is where you issue a request to the other side to produce certain documents that are specified in your uh, request. And the other side needs to provide absent objection, any of the requested documents that are in his or her possession, custody and or control if the documents are not under his or her possession, custody, and or control, the party needs to provide the contact information for the custodian records of records for the person or company that may have the document being requested. If the document being requested does not exist, then the uh, responding party needs to indicate that this uh, response, as with all our discovery responses, does need to be signed under penalty of perjury and um, again, contain the documents that are being requested that the party has. Um, the next uh, type of discovery is a request for admissions. Um, request for admissions will have a set of facts and the party that is responding to that needs to either admit or deny certain facts um, pertaining to the case. Uh, these requests for admissions do carry with them penalties for not answering or for answering falsely or even answering late. Uh, the third type of discovery are interrogatories. Interrogatories are written questions that are presented to the other side, which they must sign and answer under penalty of perjury. Um, you can use either pre-printed form interrogatory forms um, or specific questions that have been uh, designed just for your case. Those are called special interrogatories. Special interrogatories typically are limited to 35 interrogatories on a single party. There are some exceptions to that, but that is the general rule. There is no limit on form interrogatories, uh, but obviously there's only so many forms um, that have interrogatories that would be relevant to your case. Finally, there are depositions. Depositions are almost like a mini court proceeding in that you have a person that is um, being asked questions under oath. There's a court reporter present that's gonna make a transcript of everything that's said. Um, and this transcript can later be presented at time of trial um, if necessary to either substantiate what was previously said or to rebut it. Um, lastly, and I, I question whether to put this under discovery methods, um, but you also have the option of issuing a subpoena. The reason I question it is because it typically does not fall under the Discovery Act. Um, however, it is a process, uh, yet another process for getting information um, that may be helpful to your case. A subpoena is a request for the production of documents as well, but it's typically issued on the custodian of records. So whereas a request for production of documents will typically be issued on the other party and have them respond with whatever documents that may be under their uh, possession, custody, and or control, let's say you're requesting bank statements, um, you can also use a subpoena and get those bank statements to, uh, straight from the bank. So I hope you found this helpful. Good luck.